A recent survey revealed the average U.S. mom clocks in an average of 98 hours of parenting duties a week. And guess what? You don't get a vacation from motherhood. Joining us today is Denise, a mom who decided to take a much needed solo momcation. <laughs> Welcome, Denise. So, what inspired your solo momcation? I used to be afraid of flying, and then I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I realized if I could go through chemotherapy and two and a half years of aggressive treatment, then I can get on a plane and take my kids overseas. And so I started to treat myself after every course of my journey during cancer. And I took my kids and my mother to London. And then the next year we went to Iceland. And then the next year we went to Wyoming. And then the next year, last summer, my kids were both going away to sleepaway camp. And I booked a one-way ticket to Europe with no plans. As a mom, as, 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 as every mother can understand, your lives are so structured. Kids need structure. And I really feel like a free spirit who doesn't live as one. And so I booked this trip with no plans. And then I decided to really do a couple of different things along the way. And I wound up going um, eight days solo in Spain. I did a um, solo adventure trip with 20 people from around the world in Croatia for five days. That was an incredible adventure. And I just, I learned so much about myself just being alone. You know, if you are happy alone, then you can be happy with anybody. Good for you. But you just winged it? Like you went and you figured out your Spain plan and then you hooked up with these 20 people and went to Croatia? Like that's so fascinating to me. I had no hotel plans. I had no idea where I would go next. And I was able to do that part of it on a budget. There's great apps out there. There's free walking tours in cities through different apps. And I would just go meet people. I went one night in Spain to a flamenco show and I decided table for one. And then I started talking to, you know, the nine people at the table next to me. But I just woke up every day and said, who, who do I want to be today? And I think the point is, taking the chance of going on this solo vacation can inspire you now for the rest of your life to do similar things. We're joined now by behavior expert, Dr. Patrick Wanis, who's joining us via Skype, because I, I can't even begin to think of all the wonderful health benefits of going on a solo vacation like this. Can you talk to that? Well, Denise already told you, because specifically what's so fantastic is if you're willing to immerse yourself in a new culture and new experiences, what happens? You discover more about yourself. You learn your passion, your purpose, your meaning. And above all, you'll learn who's really important to you in your life. And one of the things that people are so afraid of when it comes to a solo vacation, or even some people are afraid to just hang out for an entire day by themselves because of the potential for loneliness. How do we battle loneliness if you're going to go on a solo vacation for the first time in your entire life, or maybe in the last 15 years while you've been a mom to, to kids? Loneliness can happen anywhere you are. The solution is simple. You take the first step. You initiate it. Denise said it herself. Sat next to a group of people, nine people. She started the conversation. Be willing to smile. Be willing to ask a question. I'm from down under. Hello, I'm from down under. Where are you from? The conversation begins, and you can go from there. Well, I think this is such a great concept. Denise, thanks for sharing yours with us. Dr. Patrick Wanis, thank you so much for offering your input. Thank you. And um, Mom, we, get, we have to let's go on a let's go on a yeah. uh, solo vacation right now. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> okay.